20-inch retro car installation video. Detailed display of accessories used. Install the parking rack first. Remove the parking rack screws. Put the parking rack in the corresponding position of the frame. Lock the screws with a 5mm hex wrench. Press the front wheel. Remove the anti-clamping piece first. Remove the front fork guard with a 17mm open wrench. Loosen the front axle screws. Put on the front plug. Note that the disc should be aligned with the disc brake. Then hook the safety hook to the front fork and lock the screws. Lock with a 15mm open wrench. Install handlebars. Remove the riser screw with a 4mm hex wrench. Put the handlebars on. The knurled position of the handlebar is aligned with the contact surface of the riser. Put on the briquettes. Diagonal lock screws. No need to lock. Adjust the handlebar angle again. Then lock the force tube briquetting screw. Install the throttle button. Remove the stop screw with a 3mm hex wrench. Open the locking clip. Put the finger under the button. Locking screw. Connect the yellow connector. Pay attention to the docking arrows. With a 4mm hex wrench. Install the front fender. Remove the three screws inserted in the front. Put in the fenders. Lock the screws. Fit the foot pedal. The foot pedal is divided into left and right. The one with the letter L is installed on the left. Counterclockwise locking. Lock with a 15mm open wrench. The letter R is installed on the right. Lock clockwise. Install rear pedal. Use a 5mm hex wrench and a 10mm open wrench. Remove the pedal screw. The rear pedal has a left-right distinction. The one with the letter L is installed on the left. Align the screw holes in the frame and put the nuts. Tightening screw. Same thing on the other side. Install headlights. Use a 14mm open wrench. Remove the screws on both sides of the headlight. Open the bracket. Put on headlights. Note that the gasket pad is between the bracket and the headlight. Locking screw. Connect the front east connector. Find the corresponding color connector on the instrument end. Insert male and female heads. Be careful to align with the arrows. After installation shelf, remove the shelf screws first. Remove the taillight screw with an 8mm opening wrench. Then remove the taillights, back shelf. The rear shelf screw holes are aligned with the rack screw holes. Put on nuts with 13mm open wrenches and 6mm hex wrenches. Locking screw. Pull the light cord out of the frame. Line the wires on the wire holders of the shelves. Put on the taillights. Lock with nuts. Take and place the battery case. Insert key. Rotate counterclockwise. Battery push up. Remove the battery. Battery power function display. Press and hold the button. Check battery level. Align the battery bottom slot. Put the battery on. The key rotates clockwise. Pull out the key. Battery power off switch. Zero is off. One is open. The whole car is powered off in the closed state. Demonstration of the use of the charging port. Unscrew the dust cover left to right. Plug in the DC charging port. TSD bike connects to iPhone app via Bluetooth. Download Orbital Sports from the App Store. Open Orbital Sports, click Mine, and register an account. The account and password here are only for demonstration. Remember to save your own registered account and password to avoid losing them. After successful registration, you will be automatically logged in. Long press the power button to turn on the device. Confirm that the phone Bluetooth is not connected to the Epic. Open the app P and connect to Bluetooth. Seeing this interface indicates that the connection is successful. Next, unlock class 3. You need to wait for 8 seconds. Click I agree. Originally class 2 will become class 3. Adjust the speed to level 5. Press the accelerator to the maximum speed. The dashboard shows 42 miles per hour. 